Hey guys, this is Matt Croissant over at McCarthy Hyundai Blue Springs, Missouri, reaching out to you to get you some information on this 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. Coming in a nice black paint coat here. You've also got some uh, darker alloy wheels on here. Chrome accents on your door handles and window trim. You're going to get privacy glass on all of your rear windows here. Vehicle comes with a backup camera as well as a heated back glass with a rear wiper and sprayer. The vehicle is also all wheel drive. Got a nice rail system up above for some extra cargo capabilities. Santa Bay is a very nice and spacious crossover. Up front, you're going to get some projector beam headlights with fog lights. You've also got some nice LED daytime running lights just above the fog lights right there too. Let's go ahead and take a peek inside this vehicle, see all that it has to offer. This is a 2.4 liter four cylinder with a six speed automatic transmission. Inside, you can see we've got a nice two tone brown and tan interior. You've got power locks, windows and mirrors. Front two windows are gonna be automatic for you. Get some nice storage in the doors with some bottle holders. Cloth interior driver's seat is going to be powered for you, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight way adjustable with power up, down, lumbar support. Let's go ahead and hop on in here, cool off a little bit. 96 degrees outside today, my goodness. On the left-hand side, we're going to have dash illumination controls. Let me just adjust our vents real quick as well as different drive modes. Pressing the drive mode button is going to bring up eco or sport on screen as you can see, changing your driving experience depending on your driving needs. You also have downward hill descent controller. When you place your foot on the brake with this activated, the engine will automatically downshift in the Santa Fe, which will provide you some engine braking, which helps slow the vehicle down when you're headed downhill. This will reduce wear and tear on your pads and rotors. You've also got traction control here, as well as your center differential lock for your all-wheel drive. This will give you 50-50 front and rear power distribution at lower speeds when you truly need that extra traction control. Steering wheel here, as you can see, you've got some nice controls on here. There is also a lever on the left-hand side to tilt, as well as telescope this steering wheel for you. If I can get it to move, there we go. Up, down, in, or out, wherever you need that to be. Mounted on the steering wheel, you've got volume controls. You can change your tracks and presets, mute your audio system and cycle through your sources. You've also got voice recognition controls and you can answer and end phone calls right here. Cruise control is in the top right portion and down below you've got a window, arrow and back button here. Uh, what that's gonna do is cycle through your drive display for you so you can see uh, driving information along with a speedometer, music info, uh, various maintenance and service items like your tire pressure information as well as uh, setting service reminders for you within the vehicle. Say if you want to uh, remind yourself to change your oil and then you have uh, multiple selections within the settings to fully customize the vehicle. That's going to be it for the steering wheel. Left hand wand controls your uh, blinkers, brights and headlights. You can see that those are automatic and you've got fog light control right here which you can turn on or off. The right hand wand will control your front and rear wipers with their respective sprayers. Moving up above for just a moment here, we've got some nice interior lighting, front and rear. This little hole here is a pilot light. This will come on at nighttime. If we turn that on, you can see nice little blue light right there comes on. That's going to emit a nice soft white light down into this portion of the cabin uh, for ease of viewing while driving at night. You also get a sunglass holder here. And then you have a standard rear view mirror with your Blue Link controls. Blue Link allows you to access the vehicle from your phone at the touch of your fingertips. Up here on the dash, you've got a nice little storage port, CD player. You're also going to have Sirius XM and high definition radio on here. Here is your uh, nice little touch screen that you got here. You can see your radio information as well as your device information once connected. Going to all menus will show you that you have access to your radio, your various music sources, images, the auxiliary port, Pandora. There's tons of applications that you can uh, add or remove from the system. Your phone. Uh, the vehicle also comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is a very nice feature. Excuse me. Hit big hiccup there. 
Blue Link, quick guide for the phone. You can access your climate control on screen. Sirius XM travel weather and traffic data. You get your sound hound. Voice commands that you can get set up to your voice and other settings. Down below are going to be analog controls for the majority of those applications, as you can see here and here. And down below is going to be your climate control center. This is a dual climate automatic temperature control center system. So what you can do is I've actually got this set on low. We can change that to 72 and see your climate control settings pop up there for just a moment. So uh, with this being on automatic, the Santa Fe is controlling fan speed and vent mode. And once it gets closer to 72 degrees, which is not happening today, um, the fan speed will slow down for you. This is great for wintertime as well as summertime. Down below is your power center. You can see you've got a few different ways to access this area right here, which is pretty nice. Down below, you're going to have two 12-volt outlets as well as a USB, an auxiliary port, and some more extra storage here. Here is your shifter, park, reverse. It's going to bring up your backup camera. You can see it's got dynamic pathing showing you where the Santa Fe will travel to as well as where the Santa Fe is currently at. The vertical lines represent the true sides of the Santa Fe and the horizontal lines are for distance judgment. So as long as nothing touches in between those two vertical lines, Santa Fe will not impact with it. Very nice feature. And you can see you've also got a nice clear view of the bumper right here as well. Drive is also available and you have manual shifting capability in this model. Nice uh, set of couple cup holders right here and a little bit of extra storage for coins. Center console gives you a uh, nice upper tray of a decent size and then a deeper well for extra storage. You can see you've also got some utilization of the underside here for cards or tissues or whatever you think can be held with those clips. Center console, I'm sorry, glove box is lockable. You've got your owner's manuals inside that came with the vehicle originally. And last but not least, up above, your visors here are going to be mirrored, as well as independently lit. You've got a nice little card holder here, too. And these visors are also telescopic for you, so they can reach the full length of the door for all of your shading needs. Let's close that up. All right, so that's going to be it for the front seating area of the Santa Fe. Let's go ahead and check out our back seats and the hatch. Fuel door is on the left. Back here you can see you've got some extra storage in the doors with some extra bottle holders. Ventilation here on the B pillar is pretty nice to have, so you can kind of customize that a little bit more there. Fully openable and closable. Hard back seats with some cargo bags back here and a third 12 volt outlet for some extra charging capability. Rear seats do have the ability to fold down as well as recline. You've got your own armrest back here with cup holders, as you can see, with those popping right on out. You also have your latch system for child seating, for tethering and anchoring. And again, you've got some nice lighting up above as well as some handles and hooks too. Moving on over to the hatch here. Got a manual lift gate on this model. Ooh, look at that, surprise, surprise, accessories. You got your cloth floor mats back here. You can see we've also got a set of all weather mats for you too. And you've also got this very nice all-weather cargo mat back here, too. You get your fourth 12-volt outlet back here for some extra charging and tailgating capability. Uh, take note, your rear seats actually fold down in a 40-20-40 split. You can actually fold this one down individually, just in case you've got seating needed for four people and some longer items to haul right here in the center. Underneath here, you can see you can pull this up. You've got an extra um, storage tray underneath here for your smaller items, as well as a cargo net that you can install. You've also got all of your roadside tools back here too, and the spare is located underneath all of this as well for you. So uh, very nice vehicle overall. Great storage, great cargo capabilities, great features, great everything. Honestly, Hyundai Santa Fe is one of the best crossovers on the market right now. And this one has the ability and capability to be certified so you can fully realize America's best warranty on this pre-owned vehicle. Guys, that's going to wrap it up for this 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. Make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family. Leave a comment if you have any compliments or questions about this vehicle. 
Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all of the vehicles we're uploading to this channel for your informational needs. And if you're interested in purchasing, feel free to shoot me a message or an email and we can get that sent over to you as quickly as possible. Thanks again, guys. My name is Matt Prasanto over at McCarthy Hyundai Blue Springs. We hope you're having a wonderful day.